Hey everyone! Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to make an over-the-collar bandana. For this project, you'll need a sewing machine. I've got measurements listed in the description below that you can refer to to make the size that your dog needs. I've gone ahead and made myself a cardboard cutout, 7x7, seven seven, just out of an old box, because um, I find it easier to lay the template down. You'll also need a rotary cutter, um, if you have one, they're very handy a hard plastic ruler if you have that, and some sharp scissors. For today's project, I've gone ahead and laid some cotton down on my cutting mat. It's a non-directional fabric, which means that the print faces all different directions, so it'll work no matter which way I cut it. It doesn't have to be cut one specific way. And since this cotton is kind of thin, I'm going to use a lining. So I've got this pink piece of broadcloth here that I'm on top, get that all smoothened out, and then put my template down on top, right here, and grab my rotary cutter and my ruler, and I am ready to cut this out. So I've gone and taken my two pieces of fabric to my ironing board, and I've ironed them nice and smooth, and I've found where I want my point to be. I like this little Tinkerbell right here. So that's going to work. So I'm going to fold it in half into a triangle and I'm going to just give that a press and give it a little crease right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to a piece of broad cloth. on top of my lining piece and just line them up so they're nice and smooth. And then we're going to take the two pieces of fabric, fold them together and flip them over. And then we're going to bend in the corners, the points towards the crease that we made. And you're going to want to measure with a ruler or measuring tape um, and refer to the measurements in the description below to make sure that you've got the right measurement and give that a press and then I'm just going to give that a pin too because it's not really holding and then you're going to do the exact same thing to the other side make sure that your measurements are the same to the sewing machine and we are going to sew along those two points. And as we said, we're going to sew these two points. same thing to the other point and then take your bandana back to the ironing board. It's back on the ironing board and you can see that we have stitched both points in uh, triangles and sides. Then you're going to just take your fabric and flip it in half. line up, the sides line up, everything is even, and then go ahead and give it a nice good press. The next thing 
points and sew all the way down and back up again in a your bandana turn right side out. Just use a chopstick, a pen, some scissors, just to gently poke that point out carefully. And then give the bandana just one final press. One last step to do. I'm just going to take it back to the sewing machine and sew one straight line of stitching all the way across the bottom of the opening just to hold everything together and keep it looking. you've just made an over-the-collar pet bandana. If you've enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss out on uploads. We're going to have many more tutorials on the channel, like reversible bandanas and other items of clothing, as well as more pet product reviews, including treats and